Kom ud. Moin. Hej, ja. Så er jeg ude. Så er jeg ude. Smoked oyster. Tortilla chip. Expired. Wait, wait. Yeah, past the best by date. See him. Anyway, that's just a joke. <clears throat> See if I can trigger a couple of my friends. Um, I gotta do a video. <clears throat> so let me. Let's go. There we go. <clears throat> Daniel, God is my judge. <clears throat> Get a challenge for a maybe drawing on my pickup for a. Uh, I think it's five most important things in your get-home bag. It's kind of what I believe it is. The rules and the parameters seem kind of loosely defined. I've watched two or three other videos, and they all seem to be a little bit different. But anyway, I told him I'd do it, and I just got the one-minute mark. So <clears throat> this is what I would do if I was out and gone somewhere. Then I had to grab and go. <clears throat> this is what I would do. That can stay here. This guy. Then this guy. And I'll show you what my five are. I didn't get my flashlight. That's one of my five. See, there's a big spoiler right there. But I'll go do it inside. This is a little different, a little bit less structured. <clears throat> My five most important things would be, maybe not in any particular order, but in this case, thing number one in this part of the world. It's going to be water. This is my water pump. Out here water is uncertain. Walk far enough you'll probably find a mud hole or a cattle tank or a ditch or something that's got some water in it. Maybe even a playa lake. But it's uncertain. So wherever I find water I want to be able to use it. And so to that end, I've got this pump filter right here. I think y'all seen this before. This is the first need. I've used lots of different filters. And this one is by and far, by and far, far and away. Whatever. This is the best one I've used. <clears throat> it's hanging up in there. But this is it. <clears throat> got a cartridge filter. Got a hose that goes down with a pre-filter on it. Pump here. The water comes in. Up. Gets all nice and pretty and clean. And if, when you get it a little bit clogged up, you can take the filter off. Was that a two or a three? Three. Three. Three is this, not that. That's two. That's <clears throat> anyway, this is one. This is thing one. Thing one. If I had nothing else, this is what I would have. This is thing numero uno mas importante, <clears throat> buddy. Thing number two. Not the tactical smog, although I would have it. But thing number two, first aid kit. <clears throat> and I mean, it's a first aid kit. It's got a bunch of different stuff in it. We don't even have to look at it very far. Got some gauze pads and eye relief. Eye relief? Eye, it says eye relief, but it's an eye wash kit. Pocket knife. All the good stuff a first aid kit would have. Nothing critical. I'm not planning on getting shot. I'm not planning on having to do stitches. I just want to keep a cut, small cut from getting to be a worse cut. Or if I got a blister on my foot, I want to be able to take care of it. <clears throat> Number three. Probably, I debated over over this. Number three is a shelter of some sort. This is just a little poly tarp. Uh, I think it's about a, we'll call it a 10 by 8, maybe it might be a 9 by 6, I don't know what size it is. Just big enough though I can lay down in, wrap up, and get out of the weather. I can get out of the wind, out of whatever else. Now around here there's no trees. Probably I would be looking for an old building. Here's the scenario. If I gotta get home, <clears throat> I'm not thinking about being way off and going down in Dallas or over in Albuquerque or or somewhere way far like that. I'm thinking about being somewhere between 20 and 50 miles from home. That's where I'm usually working, where I'm usually at. And so that's where I'm going to be getting back. Even as old as I'm getting, <clears throat> I can still make 20 to 30 miles a day, no problem if I don't carry too much stuff. I'm going to be in a hurry to get back too. 
I'm going to be stopping to sleep, stopping to rest, stopping to get a drink of water or pump a little bit of fresh water or, or going out of my way if I happen to see somebody bad. But in the case like that, I don't think it's going to get bad the first three days. By the third days when people might, and, and who knows what situation you imagine, it could be anything, but <clears throat> I figure the first two or three days I'm going to be clear and I can get back three days at 20 miles a day. If I only do 20, I, I, I know I can do 30 miles a day because I've done it maybe not recently. So anyway, within three days, I could cover most of 100 miles if I'm by myself, if I'm if I'm with somebody else that can hike and go good. Happy hair, my more attractive cameraman than the last guy that was helping me film. No offense. Um, could make that distance with me. So there's the first three things right there. Put those guys together where they can be seen. Okay, there's the first three. <clears throat> Thing number number four. Yeah, see? Who? Thing number four. All right, thing number four is going to be something to eat because I'm going to be wanting to move. Now, you know, it's funny. I see a lot of guys talk about in their get-home bag. They're trying to get home in a hurry. They've got snares and they've got fishing gear and stuff like that. Well, up here, fishing gear isn't going to do you much good. I'm serious. You can drive maybe a couple hundred miles before you run across any place to go fishing. And that's that's not a stretch either. I mean, fishing holes, are. we don't have much water up here. And we don't have any fish up here. If I go fishing, I go up to the grocery store and go to the frozen food section and see what I can catch there. Um, but that's about what that is. So, I'm going to be wanting... And, and if we did have fish, if we did have that kind of thing, I'm not wanting to stop and get... Food. I'm not wanting to stop it. That takes up time. Okay, I got my seven minute warning. I wasn't wanting it to go much further than this. In my truck, I've always got food. I've lived in my pickup, been in enough places working. When I plowed snow, I might be in my pickup, literally, I might be in my pickup two or three days at a time and park somewhere and sleep and then wake up and start pushing snow again. And so even now, I've always got food with me. And so I would throw in about three days worth of, of canned food. I got, see, I got pork and beans. I got I got a big can of tuna. I got what is it? Oh I got ravioli. I thought that was beefaroni. I got I got wolf brand chili. If y'all aren't from Texas you might not know what wolf brand ch chili is. Trust me this is the chili out of a can that you want right there. That's the good stuff. And then I've got you know, I've, you'd think I was a holocaust victim because of all the food I carry around. I got food buddy. I got all kinds of stuff to eat. Tins of food, sardines, things like that. I'm not going to go hungry, probably. I would throw in what I thought for three or four days. I'm at the eight minute mark now. Time marches on. Anyway, most of the stuff I've got in here is high calorie, fairly high density food. I think that's tuna. I don't know. It might be chicken. Hard to tell. That's soup. Something else I'm not going to be doing here just since we're talking about it, since I'm talking about it. I'm not going to be doing a lot of cooking. I don't want to build. A, I don't want to take the time to build a fire and to do that kind of thing. I want to be making progress. And so, if I'm stopped, I want it to be to sleep or to rest or do something else. I'm not going to build a fire because I'm not going to be wanting a fire to keep warm. Um, if I'm in a situation where I got to have a fire to keep warm, then I got other stuff working against me anyway, and I need to keep moving there too. I'm not going to be worried about building a fire. Now, I will have, in fact, in that first aid kit, there's a little lighter and there's a little pack of matches. So if I have to build a fire, I can, but I'm not planning to build a fire that whole time because I want to get home. I'm not going camping. I'm not on a hike. I'm not on a pleasure cruise. I want to get home. All right, so there are <clears throat> one, two, three, four. What have I missed? Flashlight. Flashlight. Yeah, I've got a little flashlight. So... That would be thing number five right there. Honorable mention, honorable mention that I I debated on whether I wanted the flashlight. I thought about leaving something out. If I had to just have five, I was going to leave something out because I want socks. And naturally, I've got the SHTF socks. Y'all seen these before too, probably. But a pair of socks, there is something magical and something... <clears throat> life altering at the end of a day when you stop to sleep and you take off your boots your shoes whatever and you pull off your wet sweaty socks and you let your feet dry a second and you slip your feet into a clean dry pair of socks that helps you relax and feel better 
And so anyway, that we went a lot longer than I wanted to go, but there's my five things. Now I gotta go feed a buddy's uh, goats and cows and horses and and uh, maybe steal the eggs out of his chicken coop and we might just go raid his refrigerator because he'd do it for me. And so anyway, that's it. Daniel, I hope that was good enough. I hope I got the parameters right. I'm supposed to name five people. Forgot about that. I'm supposed to name five people, they said, that I want to tag in this. So I'm going to start by tagging happy hair right there. Uh, hair that's happy. I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag Oscar Rods. Oh, Rods. I don't know what he's going by now, but he needs to do a stinking video. So I'm tagging him on it. Somebody else that needs to do a video is my dad-in-law, Don Jones. Big Daddy, you need to do a video. And this would be a good one for you to think about. Don't put too much thought into it. Throw out five things and, you know, it can be guns. It can be whatever you want it to be. i got to think of two more people. Who else do I think of um, that hadn't already been tagged? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I tell you what, I'm going to do a couple of surprise tags, I guess. And uh, I'll put their names in the... Uh, but you know what? I know who I want to. I know who I want to throw in here if he hadn't been done already. I know the two guys I want to do. I want to do Steve Foco and I want to do Matt A. I want to do both of those guys. I'm tempted to do Die Bullfrog, but I don't know if he's in, into it quite like this. Uh, but Uncle Al, you're welcome to jump in too. But yeah, yeah, um, Steve and and Matt, y'all got it, bud. So anyway, there's my five. And Daniel, for a guy that wants everybody to unsub him, you sure are throwing out a lot of stuff we got to do, bud. Anyway, love you. Thanks.